In this video, I'm going to share with you the easiest way to get into music licensing. Now, royalty-free libraries and stock libraries are the best way to get into music licensing. This is by far the easiest way to get started if you're a complete beginner into the music licensing industry. Here's the reason why. The reason why is because if you have no experience in composing music for licensing, then it's going to be very hard to go and approach higher end libraries or bigger libraries where it's usually a much harder gig to get. So this is a perfect opportunity for you if you're thinking to get started in music licensing to get practice. Now the reason why you want to get practice is because you want to compose music for licensing, right? You want to get the whole process going of opening an account to non-exclusive libraries like Pond5. You want to get the experience. What does it feel like to get rejected? Right? When I got started, I didn't know that rejection was a thing. I knew there was some type of quality control, but I have never received an email saying that my music is not good enough. I've never seen such a thing. So uh, this really hit my ego uh, really bad because I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't prepared to deal with negativity, uh, with self-doubt, with am I good enough for this? This is a real issue for a lot of composers and musicians. Usually the people that are really qualified are the people that are feeling a little bit more insecure about their own music for some crazy reason. And I include myself in this pack. When I got into music licensing, I felt that just because I know how to read music and I have a degree in sound engineering and a background in music, that I will be okay. Very quickly, I realized that this means nothing. My background as a guitarist and as somebody that has been involved in music, I had to relearn the whole thing of music licensing when it came down to uploading music to royalty free libraries and it gave me the jump start that the beginners think that I can experience a quick win by making music by uploading it to a library and the mere fact that I can just have my music online was a win for me okay uh, but for other composers they, they don't see it like that but the fact that I could upload my music see it on a marketplace and be available for a content creator to purchase, that was just mind blowing that I could just be participated in this industry. So if you're a beginner and you've been thinking about joining uh, this music licensing um, business, then joining stock libraries is the easiest way to get practice, get familiarized with how you make music, uh, how to produce better music, even though you might have experience. And even if you don't have experience, a lot of people don't have experience in music at all. They just play around with a music software, they put a few uh, drum beats here together and a few chords, and they create some amazing music. You don't need this whole gear, right? You don't need much, and it, but you need the experience. You need the experience of how to get started. You need to practice. You need to put your music in the real world. Your music, when you're doing music in your own studio, in your own home studio, it's just you and the music, and that's it. You need to put it out there and put it to the test go and upload it, go through the review process, get rejected, get a quick win, get a sale, get excited about those sales, and then go through the whole process of practicing. And then you can see, first of all, if you're gonna like this industry of music licensing, and then if you wanna carry on, because it is a marathon, it's not an overnight thing, okay? And it's a small sales here and there, and really learn about the process of making music for media. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to music licensing, download my free guide, link in the description, and as always, rock and roll, and here's to your success.